All right, guys, what's going on? Hope you're doing good. Sorry I'm a little late on this. I just got back in the house. Had some errands to run. Anyway, check this out. Old Don B's eating some nice, healthy blueberries. No, blueberry, blackberries. These things are the bomb. Love me some blackberries. All right, uh, so let's get into the, the uh, Sebastian Rogers uh, case here. And... Um, I want to talk about the uh, picture of Sebastian, you know, floating around on YouTube. I was thinking that it wasn't uh, Sebastian. I mean, it still, you know, could be, couldn't be Sebastian. Um, it does resemble him, looks like him, uh, all that good stuff. And uh, it's either Katie or Chris um, or Seth. Some of them have, like, family in North Carolina. I can't remember who it was. I think it's Katie. Um She's got family in North Carolina. Well, Lord, I mean, maybe all of them's got family in North Carolina. Who knows? Um, but um, I was listening to Seth. Um, you know, they basically told Seth they ain't going to talk to him about it because they've got to uh, investigate it, make sure it's him, all this good stuff. And uh, a lot of people were like, you know, why, why, you know, uh, why didn't Seth stay up there if he think? If he thought it was Sebastian, why didn't he stay up in Linville? Um, well, if you think about it, um, you know, Seth's really, emo any, any father, any parent would be really emotional missing their kid like this. And, um, you know, it, it, it could turn, I mean, I know if it were me, uh, like Seth said, you know, I'd, you know, I, I would go get my kid by any means necessary. So, um, of course, if it's not Sebastian, I mean, you don't want to be going up there or you don't want to be going around people with a pew pew and, and, you know, it, it yeah, let, let, let the, let the police handle it. Um, of course the element of surprise is gone now because it's all over the internet. So if that was Sebastian, uh, the element of surprise, uh, so to speak, I guess now is uh, uh, thrown out the door. Cat scratching at my door, wanting in. Um, so I, I wanted to say that. Uh, what, what's y'all's thoughts about that? I mean, you know, bla you know, if that is Sebastian, they blasted you know him all over the internet. I mean, uh, whoever has him now knows. You know, now they know. Now they know. And now what are they going to do with Sebastian? You know what I mean? Of course, I think if somebody was going to do harm to Sebastian, uh, they'd, they, they would have done it by now. So I think if somebody has Sebastian, they've been hiding him out, whatever. Um, the gig is probably about up if this is Sebastian. And um, um, we'll, we'll, we'll see what's going on. Um, He now what happens if this is Sebastian? Uh, will Sebastian go into um, state custody or will he go automatically into Seth's custody if Chris and Katie get arrested? I'm just saying if Chris and Katie, Katie get arrested. Um, so, I mean, you got to stop and think, according to Katie, Sebastian went missing from the safety of his own home, right? And if Chris or Katie's family has Sebastian, then how does, how does, how do family members get a hold of a kid out of the safety of his own home between, you know, eight o'clock at night and six o'clock the next morning. Yeah. I mean, it really makes you think Katie and Chris know all about this. If, if that's what's going on, you know what I mean? Uh, see what else? I mean, um, for Sebastian, if they are hiding Sebastian, was Chris Proudfoot part of a serious CPS investigation regarding Sebastian? 
Is that what this is all about? Because we know Chris left and been had been gone for two months, basically, at his job site in Memphis. Um, kind of similar to Don Wells spending so much time away from home at work. You know, we had Dudley Agent saying that he was basically spending the night at the homes, basically, where he was working just to avoid CPS. So, you know, is this whole thing, if they are hiding Sebastian and Sebastian's alive, uh, is this whole thing centered around a serious CPS investigation um, regarding Chris Proudfoot and Katie? You know, it's a possibility. Um, and, you know, the best way to get out of it, if Sebastian's basically the evidence, is to get rid of him. You know, um, you know, because if Sebastian goes and tells CPS basically what's been going on, the gig is up for Chris and Katie and you, you, know, you see what I'm saying? But is it worth it? Would it be worth it? Well, depending on how bad, I guess, you know, the CPS stuff is. Like Chris won't even say what Sebastian... Um, what the whole thing was about. He's avoiding this, that, that last CPS thing. You know, what, what did Sebastian go and apparently tell the school to get them involved? What did he tell them that Chris was doing to him? Like, Chris won't even, you know, touch on that. Uh, could this be part of that? You know? So, uh, yeah. Is, is this a whole ploy to keep Sebastian from talking with CPS investigators so they don't get in trouble. But, I mean, I mean, if it is, and this is Sebastian, gig is up, Chris and Katie are, you know, out, they're up shit creek without a paddle, in my opinion. Uh, if this is what's going on, you know, just if this is what's going on. Uh, then you have... Uh, you have all the bad stuff uh, Chris's ex-wife Nina said about him, right? And now the neighbors are even saying bad stuff about Chris treating Sebastian in a bad way. You know what I mean? Um, you know, apparently neighbors heard Chris calling Sebastian, you know, uh, the R word. Um, just, just treating him bad, you know, and then we, we get the whole, um, people talking about Chris making Sebastian sleep in the garage, um, because he is wet in the bed and, um, you know, Chris, Chris probably, you know, Chris probably, uh, owned that one. You know, if Chris was making him sleep in the garage, Chris would probably own it. And I can hear Chris saying, well, at least I didn't make him sleep outside in the yard. I can hear Chris saying that. And, uh, the last thing I want to talk about is, you know, with, with Chris's personality on YouTube lately, uh, being a prick and, uh, being a jerk to everybody and just, you know, just being a jerk. Um, where do Chris and Katie go from here, right? Like, if they don't get arrested or, or, or nothing like that for a while, um, Let's just say six months to a year. Um, you know, they, they've basically ruined their lives. Chris Proudfoot and Katie have ruined their lives, basically, because right now, the way Chris has been acting, and apparently, you know, allegedly he got kicked off the job site and ain't never been back, I guess. I mean, who who would hire Chris? A after Chris showing his ass here on YouTube, uh, and there's just so much negativity around Chris and Katie. Um, I don't think if anybody really knew who they were, I don't think they'd be employable. I mean, if I had a if I had a company, I wouldn't want Chris working for me. I wouldn't want Katie working for me. It's just too much. You know, too much baggage coming with them to 
bring him on the payroll, uh, put him around other employees. Uh, no. So it's, has Chris ruined it? Have, have they basically ruined their life? I mean, I'm sure they could probably go out of state and nobody would know who they are. Maybe. I don't know. Um, uh, I, I, I don't know. But, um, you know, like here locally, like in the Memphis area, Nashville area, probably anywhere in Tennessee, I don't see Chris or Katie being able to get employment at all just because of the baggage associated with them in the Sebastian Rogers case. You know, I mean, Chris has been on here for weeks acting like a jerk. Got kicked off the job site, allegedly. I mean, what are you going to do? You can't go... I mean, they'll, yeah. I see them selling the house and moving. That's what they're going to have to do. They're probably going to have to pick up and start out, start over in another state where nobody knows who they are. If, if they don't have anything to do with Sebastian's disappearance. If they don't get arrested. So... Uh, I got to thinking about that. You know, employers probably not going to want to want to touch Chris and Katie with a ten foot pole. Not here in Tennessee. I mean, not nowhere right now. Uh, if they really knew who who they were and all the baggage that that comes with them, I don't know an employer one that would touch them with a ten foot pole. So anyway, guys, uh, that that's what I've got for you. Um, let me know what you think. Um, And I, I, I got one more thing to say, and this is, you know, if this picture is Sebastian, let's watch Chris and Katie's, uh, let's watch and see how they act, right? Let's watch and see how they act, because if this is Sebastian and Chris and Katie are involved in this, um... We're we're gonna we're gonna start seeing some some red flags, if you will. Um, so stay tuned. Uh, let's let's see how this plays out. Uh, definitely keep an eye on Chris and Katie. Uh, keep an eye on their personality right now. Keep an eye on their actions. That's what I would say. And uh, we'll we'll see we'll see if this plays out. Uh, hopefully hopefully it is Sebastian, and he gets reunited with Seth. Um, but in my opinion, you know, I think if it is Sebastian and the police get him, um, more than likely he's going to, he may be involved with the state of Tennessee and then go to Seth. Um, well, we'll see how that plays out, you know, cause they'll, they'll have to uh, make sure he's okay, you know, medically, mentally, all that stuff. Um, you know, they'll, they'll do a, do a, you know, medical checkup on him. They'll, they'll do the whole, uh, they'll do the whole nine yards on him to make sure he's okay. And, and then I'd, I'd say he would probably go back to Seth. So anyway, guys, hope it's him. Let me know what you think about everything I said and, uh, start dropping them comments. I'll see you on the next video.